Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. D23 is underway. And with it, we've got some leaks, we've got some reveals. There's not too much that's been spoken about as yet, because obviously it's just the opener. They tend to save a lot of their bigger reveals till further down the line. But what I thought I would do in one big video is just go through everything. So you can see it on the screen now. We've got new footage from the Rise of Skywalker. There was supposed to be the Mandalorian as well, but currently we've only got the Rise of Skywalker. This is all leaked, by the way. So Rise of Skywalker, we've also got uh, some Black Widow footage, Phase 4 footage, some comments about Kit Harrington from Game of Thrones, as well as uh, you know another brief rundown of John Watts uh, and Spider-Man, Marvel, Sony situation. So, what I thought I would do... We will watch the Rise of Skywalker footage together, talk about it. Then we will watch the Phase 4 footage together, talk about it, and go from there. Apparently, according to this, there's, a, there's about 10 seconds worth of footage. A lot of it's the same stuff we've already seen. But it'll be interesting to see, nonetheless. It's too dangerous. I have to go alone. God, I really wish people would stop screaming. Um, so there is a little bit of Darth, yeah, Darth Vader's helmet. I mean, it was, uh, it's nothing, is it really? It is nothing. It's too dangerous. I have to go alone. Of course you do. Why would you, why would you not have to go alone? Of course you've got to go alone, Ray. Mary Sue. Of course you've got to go alone. All right, that was fine. Let's <laughs> let's look at the Phase Four trailer. With the series, you're going to see a different side of Clint Barton that you haven't seen before. And what if we we're going to explore corners of the universe that might be untouched, which is really exciting. I am burdened with glorious purpose. One of the biggest questions that audiences had coming out of Endgame is, where did Loki go? This series will answer that. The great thing about WandaVision is that we get to see what an ideal life for Wanda and Vision actually looks like. We should have stayed in bed. We're going to make the first scary MCU film. Ten Rings has been in the MCU since the very beginning. The Eternals are the really special group of people that will feel different than anything we've done before. Okay. This show is going to be about two characters that have become simply fan favorites. Can you move your scene? No. It's really not that complicated. This iteration I get to play Natasha as a fully realized woman. I'm always picking up after you boys. Is this old footage? We're continuing the legacy of the MCU. And we're gonna do that in new ways, unexpected ways, and really build on the legacy of, of what's come before. I mean, that's just, it's just a circle jerk of crap, isn't it, really? That's, that's naff. If you'd paid and waited all that time to, to see that, I'd be bitterly disappointed. What a shame. Both of those are really underwhelming. Obviously, we're going to get more. I know that. But as openers, it's quite underwhelming. Didn't really reveal anything. That's a shame. All right, let's look at Game of Thrones star Kit Harrington because he's coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Apparently, a good source as well. This is to, this is Deadline. According to Deadline, I'll take these off so I don't shout. Game of Thrones star Kit Harrington is making the leap from Westeros to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. 
that will be where the actor makes his next movie. And while the trade doesn't specify what that will be, common sense says that it will be the Eternals, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness are strong possibilities. They also claim that an official announcement could be coming this weekend during D23. Mm, the Eternals has most of their cast announced. Could be Shang-Chi. Don't think he'd play a part in Doctor Strange. Because we've got to pick up with... Was it Mordo? Mordo? Yeah. Uh, Marvel Studios will be part of the Walt Disney Studios panel taking place at the event tomorrow. And speculation is running rampant that they will be shedding some light on their upcoming movies. Hence why it's possible Harrington will be confirmed for one of their upcoming releases. It's a smart move by Kevin Feige to scoop the Game of Thrones alum up. Especially as everyone has been wondering where he goes next after playing Jon Snow. Have they? I thought he was quite one note as Jon Snow. Didn't think he displayed much range. Um, it's not to say he's not a good actor, of course, but he was in... Um, I think he did a movie called Pompeii and he wasn't particularly great in that. So has, have people really been that worried about where he's going to go? Does that, do people really care that much? So there's that. And then here is the last bit of news, which comes courtesy of Deadline as well. So it's, it's in line with the whole D23 stuff. And more than likely this will be consolidated, resolved uh, across the weekend. Deadline is reporting that a tug of war is taking place between Disney, Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures over the director John Watts, who did Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, apparently... It's because the filmmaker is not attached to the third Spider-Man movie, but the writers of the previous installment are, and they Sony want the director back. But apparently Marvel Studios is actively courting the filmmaker for an upcoming MCU set project, and it sounds like they are not best happy with respect to Sony and how they've handled things, even though I still, I still think that it's a big publicity stunt. Now, Deadline states that Kevin Feige was not too busy to continue working on Spider-Man movies as he loves the character. Deadline, we all know that he wasn't. It's nothing to do with that. Sony was quite professional in their statement. They didn't... I don't think there was anything unprofessional about what they said. Disney, meanwhile, reportedly asked for a 25% stake. This number keeps going all over the place. So, I don't take any stock in these numbers anymore. I, again, I still highly, 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 I bet you anything it's publicity, son. I bet you anything. Now, apparently this was only going to be for movies that actively involved Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige. The 25% offer was on the table for six months, but Sony refused. It's, it's, still a, it's a quarter, it's quite a lot. Played hardball, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah. Interesting. There's not an awful lot else out here uh news wise the the rise of skywalker looks crap the footage i i don't see anything that was particularly great there um the the darth vader mask good to see i guess just nostalgia again as always this was very underwhelming so there's obviously some nice stuff in there but it's it's nostalgia it's stuff we've already seen uh, it'd be nice to have seen something new, but there's nothing else really to note here. Kit Harrington in the MCU, I think it's probably going to be Shang-Chi. He'll be in Shang-Chi. Because uh, I can't, I don't imagine he would be, what role he would have in the Multiverse of Madness. So I think it'd be Shang-Chi, but it remains to be seen. Um, what do you guys think of this? So just a quick wrap up, I guess, of D23 and a quick news piece. So what do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you are new here, make sure you hit subscribe because you can stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. And as always, if you like what I am doing here, my efforts to entertain, please do give this video a like and a share. And if you want to support any further than you can, I've got a Patreon linked down below in the description box. Really helps me out an awful lot more than you will know, as well as an Amazon affiliate link. Uh, and also Teespring, which I will be dropping some new merch soon because I've released a whole bunch of Godzilla stuff, and 
yeah, it doesn't really seem like anyone really wanted them, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm going to remove the Godzilla stuff, so that will only be up for a few more weeks. So if you do want it, the Teespring is underneath every single video. Um, but what I am going to be releasing is Predator stuff uh, and a Jasper shirt. Jasper, if you don't know, is my dog. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to miss age. Take care.